Hi guys, back again with me, Austin from A Boy at Heart. Today I'm going to share with you my experience on Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale Chewbacca, which is based on its appearance on Solo A Star Wars Story. So, this is more like a younger version of himself. So, without further ado, let's take a quick look at the packaging first. This is the standard Black Series packaging that well, we've been getting for a while now with the artwork at the front which is nice and then we have the name of the character Chewbacca uh, it doesn't state anything but we know that this is the younger version of Chewbacca uh, the black series line at the top there this doesn't have any number because I think this was kind of a exclusive release on a certain store and then of course the most important thing of all is if you want to you can pause now to read the bio all right so let's take a closer look at the figure itself shall we okay so let's start from the head as you can see here i purposely taking out the head um, overall i think i like the the paint job to be honest the scalp is always very nice some parts here are kind of uh, rubbery we'll see how the articulation is the pain on the teeth is uh, okay i guess uh, it's quite tidy so not bad um, the eyes is always normally a problem but here is not that bad it's only it looks scary though <laughs> more than adorable because of the thin dot on the eyes but other than that, uh, it's still okay, acceptable. Um, I like all the shadings on the on the head part here, so it's nice. Uh, let's compare to the previous black series. This is the old black series, the 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 very very early one. Uh, just to compare, it's a different scalp altogether. Cause this is very old now uh, hopefully the, in the future i'll get uh, the newer version of uh, what do you call that uh, chewbacca but i, I kind of like this as well because of the roaring which look ferocious but yeah i, I had to do it a little bit uh, fixed to the dot on the uh, on its size but this one is okay this one is really nice and I like the paint scheme on this one better than this looks too uh, too, too much on a light brown whereas this one is more realistic in my opinion okay but yeah I like the roaring part here but here he looks he looks okay looks great and I purposely take it out because I want you to see the inner body here similar with the old black series uh, to accommodate uh, better look on the bandolier uh, he has uh, the body here has been sculpted in a way to accommodate the strap of the bandolier which we'll see uh, very quick after this um, but I like the shadings from the darker here uh, the you know the the from the darker part into the more lighter and then again to the darker part here on the furry parts looks really really nice i think uh, this might be one of my favorite chewbacca in black series so far because the paint the scalp is always is really nice to have see all the you know all the curly parts on his uh what do you call that fur and this is the joint inside i think it's also a dumbbell joint if an, uh, it's a ball to ball joint which is nice um we'll see to that later on and then also of course the feet down there uh, nice details on the toes i think that's good down there nothing much and of course we'll put on the bandolier here uh, in uh, the the part within doesn't uh, have much details they don't really do anything about it but out uh, outward it's awesome it's beautiful i think the details on the I'm not sure whether these canisters are kind of some sort of ammo or something like that 
but it looks nice the metallic paint is nice the small pocket here is okay i think it if we can have a little bit more details is nice these two pockets but otherwise it's okay the bandolier is standard i guess yeah nothing much uh, for the most part is rubbery and light so we'll try to put it oh, by the way this is the uh, solo style uh, the younger version use two straps here instead of just one uh, we'll put it on him very quick it's very easy it just fit to the molded part that we see just now uh, very much okay so fits well and let me try to put on the head hopefully I can do it on camera I don't know I have to use force <clears throat> all right Woo. <laughs> uh, not bad so uh, this part of the fur though is kind of facing uh, due uh, to the gravity it kind of lowers down like that which is uh, you know we don't have that much point of course if someday Hasbro want to give extra hands for a uh, different kind of situation that will be welcome but the one on the right is the trigger palm I think this one is the for the gripping palm and yeah overall it's a very nice uh, mold and paint for me okay. it's awesome for his accessories uh, first of all as alongside the bandolier we are being given this uh, Google which is transparent uh, is quite small um, and quite solid so be careful not to break it but the part that I like is this it came uh, with sorry about that focus focus it came with a elastic strap kind of soft goods rubbery straps which is something that I want and prefer compared to this you know Hasbro if you can do this why 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 did you do this with plastic I mean yeah it works but I don't know I prefer this better and then you can always put it on his eyes sorry on his face very easily and effortlessly and you know why this is why I, I don't really care with the pain on the eyes of course uh, if, if it's good and if it's, it's good but you know for the most part I'll display him like this with the goggles on and he looks great I think looks more like a pilot isn't he and that's nice I like this look actually uh, as much as there are mix, uh, mixed feelings for the movie this version of Chewbacca is one of my favorite to be honest with you all right so it works and also we are being given uh, his uh, before he used his bow caster uh, he used something like this in the sorry in the movie he used uh, this blaster is called uh, SX21 scatter blaster if I'm not mistaken it looks a lot like a modern shotgun but this is also I think this is also one of my favorite um, gun uh, from the figures from most of the figures uh, is one of my favorite we have kind of brownish part on handles and this part what's cool is that this actually moves like a real shotgun so you can take it out if you want to I uh, like the detailings here all the all, all the molds of the parts okay very nice and it can hold it very nicely uh, I'll I'll show you later on uh, it doesn't have any trigger hole but it's okay which is good because uh, sometimes it's a pain to put on a blaster on Chewbacca's arm because of the furry part here but for the most part this is okay uh, it's quite rubbery so when if you see probably it's not really visible but it's kind of when I open uh, when I 
take it out from my display to uh, record this video is kind of bendy a little bit uh, of course you can always heat it up you can heat it up and it will uh, soften out like jelly and you can straighten it up for, for the most part it's quite solid so that's good okay um, also there's an interesting part here there's this piece with a hole actually it, uh, it does came with something which uh, okay there's this part this small part which is supposed to come in through this hole okay now uh, I'm not sure what's that I thought it's something to clip on his back or something but it's not it's also on the oops sorry Oh, we can we can see this also in our uh, image reference now uh, some people just uh, put it like that facing down okay like like that but if we check on our image reference it's actually uh, inside facing up all right now uh, don't do stupid thing like me I just when uh, earlier I tried to kind of move it uh, down downward and upward like that but it's very tight and it uh, at the end I got this stress mark right uh, thank goodness it's still attached I may try to reinforce it but for the most part it's still quite solid so well, if you want to move it around uh, the best thing to do is try to take it out by uh, just take your hairdryer uh, blow it blow the heat on this gun for a while and uh, you will take it out easily and then you can always move the position otherwise it's not advisable to do it because uh, uh, it might break okay you see already the stress mark so I'm gonna put this facing up just like on our image reference uh, the whole pick here oops okay so this I'll, I'll probably display here, display this pistol like this but again try to hit it up first if possible uh, let's try to put on his palm the grip is very tight because this part is actually quite quite big as well for the figure uh, the for the it's kind of stretching on the arm but it's fine but the good thing also is that we can use the left arm to grip on this part so that it may look like he is shooting a proper shotgun all right so it's not the best shooting position in the world but you can do something like this right not bad actually and of course you can you can move this around to suit your purpose depending on you now I also saw of, uh, some photos uh, in the internet that they can somewhat strap this on its back. I'm not sure whether they're using this this part to kind of clip it on his back, which technically you can, I guess, if you want to, just to hold it there. For the articulation, however, before that, I just want to point out that the goggles, uh, it holds quite tight actually, so it's nice. So I'll remove the goggles first. Uh, the head is on a ball dumbbell joint, so you have supposed to have full rotation, but because of the molded part here, uh, albeit it's rubbery, but you cannot do much, so you can only 
I think if you force it you can but I want to do it that's pretty much the extent of it plus the bandolier of course so you get that much uh, downward upward not so much okay but you know the joint is there all right the arm is on a ball hinge joint as usual you can move up that much uh, same here and then we can always turn it around 360 mm, extend it that much to the back the elbow is on a okay okay the hinge is there but it's kind of uh, hindered a little bit by the molded part there so you can only bend that much let's see the one on the right whether it has the same issue uh, okay. okay that's the extent of the bend on the right not even 90 degrees so that's sad but you can always turn it around same on the one on the left uh, the um, the palm you can turn it around 360 I do believe we have a hinge there so you, you we're supposed to be able to move it up and down like that of course because of the molded part here it might be hindered in some capacity but you know it's there okay the one here we have a hinge somewhere oh it's there so it's on the similar location up and down like that uh, the one here we have I think it's a ball joint as well uh, let's see if we can turn him around 360 yes we can um, let's see the extent of his bowing down this much mm, to the back side by side okay uh, this part here is kind of rubbery but we'll see um, we have a ball hinge, ball joint with the opening so but this is the extent of it which is I think is fine because uh, focus please this much uh, and then the front kick this much uh, back kick this much can always uh, turn the upper thigh here 360 kind of oh, tight super tight even okay the one on the, the one on the right moves all right and then we have a bend to the knee this much and then we can turn it around 360 uh, the ankle I'm not sure we have much here we do have the hinge but uh, nothing much that I can uh, get a feel on here yeah there is an up and down a rocker even but it's hindered by the mold encircling the ankle here same here on this part as well all right let's scale him up he stands to the top of his fur i think uh i i i did a bit of measurement uh of the camera and i think he stands for almost uh, seven and a half inch or slightly below uh, 19 centimeters it was roughly 18 and uh, 0.75 centimeters around that so he's quite tall so let's compare him to several characters on the movie of course this is Rio which is supposed to be shorter than him uh, compared to Moloch Moloch was Moloch is quite tall himself but uh, beside Chewbacca he is smaller uh, and then this beside Lando the younger version and then beside 
Back up. Still taller, which is good. This is beside Kira. And then L3. I hope I can stand her up. This is quite tricky to stand. All right, possible. And then mm, let's see what we got. This is beside a range trooper. Oops. Still tall. Can beside a storm black series stormtrooper. All right, and uh, infamously tall. They say. It. <laughs> uh, what do you call that? Death Trooper. And then, uh, what else do we have here? Beside the old Han Solo. I like the fact that he's, he's quite tall. Even compared, and this is compared to the old Black series which I think came roughly the same period as this one. Uh, the old one is taller, but this is sufficiently tall enough. At least it's still much taller than Han Solo, which is good. All right, as you notice, the different in pain, and I like this one better. Okay, and of course, uh, beside his friend and partner, etc., Han Solo, in the movie, uh, this is just to compare with a Marvel Legends. So he still towers over a Marvel Legends figure, which is good also. Uh, oh, just another comparison uh, to compare with another tall character is K2SO. I happen to have him beside me here, which is also kind of tricky sometimes to stand. He still towers K2SO, but K2SO is also quite tall himself or itself <laughs> anyway so overall this is one of my favorite character alongside Han Solo so I'm kind of biased but for the most part it's a good representation of Chewbacca from the movie I like the weapon uh, very nice uh, I like the most sculpt and the paint uh, I like the googles even so it's a good figure to have if you like Han Solo and you, if you like the movie. And of course, like I said, you can always hate the movie, but this figure is always nice to have. Okay. All right, so thanks guys for watching until the end. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and you know, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So, and you can also chat, contact me through Instagram. Ciao.